Hey everybody, it's Dr. Kwai. The doctor is in. We're back with Wasteland 3. So we just saved that Arapaho, um, uh, like convoy, I guess you'd call it, or supply truck from that. I don't know. I don't know what those dudes were. Kind of like just raiders. I really like the ones with, they, one had bombs for heads, the other one had saws for hands, which is kind of nuts. And we did that with like almost no problem. That was actually pretty cool. I don't know how we would have handled that like earlier. Um, I keep staring at this scorpion looking thing. I mean, that looks awesome. Like a machine gun for a turret. I mean, for a tail. That looks actually really cool. All right. So I don't know where we go from here. So let's log in and find out. We're going to be in the world again, though. I know that. That's just awesome. Like random encounters. Screw that. I ain't going to skip those. Those are cool. Although they might get old after a while, I would think, but the main ones are pretty neat. And then you can um, investigate the area afterwards. Really nice. They just burn the cat, though. That's something I'm like, kind of unfortunate about. Burn the cat, crispy critters. All right, so we're all le they're all leveled up, except for Lucia, and then so with her. Wait, let's just check out the equipment. Did we get anything for that? That's plus four. Oh, that's like right. plus one is badass, right? Confetti. All right, so we got more frags. Confetti grenades. That is just ridiculous. I don't know who knows how much money I spent on that crap. All right, so we've got um, the to the tour actually still really helped. Oh, we got to get rid of these. Yeah, confetti grenade. Get rid of that. What do we want in there instead? Another turret? What is this? Oh, those are mushrooms. We got a bunch of these books now too. Primarily increases brawling by one. Um, do we want to use those? Oh, brawling. Their skills by one. Now you know what would be smart is if, so say you had a book on lock picking. I mean, upgrade cost is four. You can't a point. So if you could save that last point right there, that's like six points that you're saving. That is huge. Six skill points for the cost of one book. All right, so we're gonna yeah, we're so we're gonna hang on to those for a while. Um, do any weapon mods? Oh, yeah, this is the thing. Um, plus one penetration, max damage plus four. The damage range is increased. We had this one before. We'll install it. Why not? Oh, is her armor modding not high enough? Alright, who needs... Kevlar and support. Right, she doesn't have any. What is her, her armor modding to three? We can't upgrade it yet. All right. All right. What about the helmet? Armor plus four helmet. That one's just plus three. I keep getting trigger over there. Oh, he's got a busted arm. Um, oh no, it wasn't a cracked shoulder. Or a shattered shoulder. It's not cracked, it's shattered. You'd think it'd do more than that, but...
So she's the only one with no helmet. She's got the ridiculous hat. But we're gonna recover it with a ridiculous helmet. Oh my god. With her freaking blouse that looks so funny. Alright, we can't modify it. Oh right, we wanted to get rid of those grenades as a slot. Right, what do we want to cover it up with? Um I can't believe I've actually used one of these in a battle. So Higgs has the shrinky ones. We need for science for that. One science. Equip. Equip that one. We'll put out the. Um, we'll equip over the decoy as well. Might not use it, but it would be definitely handy. Who knows how much damage that does. Alright, so we'll give her a grenade. No, um, Quan? No, let's go hit. I don't know. He's. Alright, Quan. We'll give her the other one. Alright, sweet. Now let's get back in the Kodiak. Oh, we're going to have this. Bandits are ever present threat when crossing the wasteland, so we're going to have the screen every time. And we just saw that because that car was in the middle of the street. Colorado Springs. Interesting. Hmm. I heard that some of these locations are real, like Garden of the Gods. I've never been there, but it is a real location. I know that. All the rock formations. Okay, we want to go. Um... That's it, Rangers. Can't stand no more waiting. We're going in. Enjoy the show. Come on, Dorseys. The deluge of blood begins. Oh my god. Well, I don't think we're gonna go to the homestead now. Oye amigos, as soon show at the Clown Museum in Mariba. Take the tour, then visit El Big Top and learn what it really means to be a clown. Children under 10 are free. We can't get enough of those cabronitos. Hello all. My name is Flab, and it is my pleasure to bid you welcome to the bazaar. Come in, for the night air is chill. Your Problem home is in. in, and our goods plentiful. Bring us Once on the clown theme, roadside attraction after the apocalypse, it became the holiest of holy sites. For the villainous payasos. Yeah, why not? Do it. Los payasos originated in the town of Arriba, Colorado, sometime after the apocalypse. We got time to take out some clowns? Sure. They're gonna be like them Stephen King clowns with the red balloon. Pennywise. Oh, look at that. He's right on the door over there. <clears throat> oh, 
Let's have Kwan go in first. Oh yeah, Mamones! The fuck you doing here? We came to see the Clown Museum. This ain't just a museum, pendejo. It's sacred ground. A shrine to the great joke. And you're gonna get it! Arriba, payasos! Oh, that didn't take long. Estas ready, chingado? Scared? You should be, pendejo! Now you see me, now you don't. I right, threw a grenade and now he's smoking it and now he's not in the grenade anymore. Uh oh, they have us at a disadvantage. Let's try to hear. Oh wow, look at their health, Jesus. I think, oh, oh I should have chucked out a turret. That was stupid. Alright, Thunder, let's go. Look here. Seven percent him. A Quan. Got an overwatch. All right, we see ya. Um. Not a lot of cover. And share the log. Kodiak, let's do it. 94% of that guy. Hey, I don't bastard, huh? Oh, 
Holy shit. Wow. We can attack again? That shredder turret shreds alright. Um. vehicle, huh? No, I don't think so. Missed completely nice. We're demoralized though. Not sure what that does. Dance, dance. Hey! I don't mind pain, but fuck! Alright, we're on Ghost Rider again. Um This is where we need a, a melee guy. percent that ain't gonna work. Alright, Valkyrie, we got the... Who do we want to target? Take them Target that guy. Kill them. All right, so Thunder's almost gone. Is there like no cover behind the stump? Can I use that? No, not himself. That was a waste. Oh, 
Alright, we have Marshall Quan here. Is he behind? Cover. Doing Overwatch. Lucia. Actual grenade. Nice. Executing order. I'm dead, man. That thing. Deadly. You don't want to mess with that thing. Jeez. Nice, Quan. Let's play hide and seek. <laughs> dance, Benejo. Dance. Awaiting orders. All right. Let's just have that. Go again. Executing order. Excellent. Nice, could I got much better than that? I'm a medic pack, have him heal up. <laughs> Thanks for the assist, Haas. <laughs> Loot. A ripped clown shoe. Some ammo, smoke grenades. More ammo. More ripped clown shoes. Right, you know there's gonna be traps in here. Can't see what's up there. Oh. Place to dig. Trim. Got some ammo. Oh, they bury all their loot in the ground. Oh, we got a pig. Can we charm it? Why can't we talk to the pig? I want to charm the pig. Back there. Lock pick level eight.
Oh, requires power. Stuff over here. Um, okay. Someone's got to stand on it. Grenade. A nitro thrower. Based on based on flamethrower technology, this weapon instead sprays jets of super cool chemical vapor. That's pretty cool. Alright, cool. Activation for morons. Right. A level six toaster. The animatronic ballerina is currently turned off. A brightly colored power switch is mounted at her feet. Let's flip it on. To do freaking damage. Let's step away. And this one on too. Anyway, some of the snow you see one of its parts has fallen out, leaving an obvious gap. If you could find a replacement part, it'd be easy to fix. Okay. the power on. Up away. Samatartic is currently deactivated. Our maintenance panel is frozen open. Let's repair it. Takes only a few seconds. We'll flip that one on too. We're already invested, might as well do it. Picking is impossible.
don't want to get in it yet. It's just... Holy broken. Level 9. Oh, look at the deep. Yeah, holy shit. Get in. Okay, not yet. Let's see again the level. Let's add to her coordination. Skills barter, survival, small arms, barter. And modding. Allows you to modify your weapons and strip them down to parts. I like that. Perks. Your entire party finds plus 25% bonus ammo when looting at a minimum of plus one. Don't just don't just piss you off when they drag you out. Yeah, we definitely need um, ammo. But the big top's got something in there. All right. Let's get in. Over the years, scavengers have created ingenious weapons from broken tools and old scraps, such as road sign cleaver and the saw blade. So I wonder if that point will be marked because I mean it's it's level nine. I'm never gonna remember to go back there. Because there's a toaster there, there's a door. 
There's that creepy clown. Citizens of Colorado, this is your patriarch speaking. The flame of liberty burns bright in our fair state, but not without help from you. If you would protect that flame, tent it, and keep it burning strong, then join the Colorado Marshals, the defenders of all our freedoms. Visit your local marshal station today and ask them what it takes to join. And make me proud. Right, let's get the Kodiak out of here. Let's go to the bazaar. Is this it? She monster, a woman in a scarred hockey mask, steps from an old van with a painting of a werewolf riding a Pegasus on the side. Hmm. Hey, uh. lambs, want to trade? My name's She Monster. Oh, she's a. Oh, cool, kick ass! You guys are such badasses. No cooler crew in Colorado than the Monster Army. What's life like in the Monster Army? usually just drink and watch old VHS monster movies and shoot the shit. <laughs> it's the best. You guys are such badasses. There's no cooler crew in the Colorado, Colorado than the Monster Army. I know, huh? Thanks for recognizing. Oh, Let true. me open up the store. All right. Get rid of these confetti grenades. They're worthless. Throw a junk. Yeah, how are these confetti grenades? Oh my god, sell them for a dollar. Alright, sell them all. We don't need the booze. Mushrooms. Yeah, they can always eat that, right? Um, it's the pistol. Um, that's yeah, all the pistol. The time again. A new armor, they definitely have bullets. Two dollars, nice. Ooh, rockets, how much are these? One fifteen. Buy three. I guess it's not really much cheaper than anything else. Um, let's just see what else I have first. All right, we need these. Why? None of them. Why not? More nitro spike. Definitely need that. Frag grenades, Molotovs, Cryo grenades. Technology shows much promise, but cryo cells are still unable. These grenades lose their cryogenic charge after about a year. They're frozen. EMP grenades, great for robots.
Throw to inflict shock on anyone in the affected area, dealing minus 10, con damage, minus 2 for one turn. Robots have a... Well, that's not that great. Buy two antidotes just in case. Um, substance. These amazing tablets immediately remove any current negative effects acquired from substance abuse, except for sh ah, except for shame. That is so funny. Don't like that. The oh, whole funny. No glow. Quick slot. Um, purges the effects of radiation. I don't know if we're gonna deal with that. Um, suture kits. Those are nine. Why two? I think we're good. Um, what else we got? have him eat some ham. Shit, it's the wrong guy. God damn it. Oh, now I probably don't have any other food. Oh, we could armor mod. But we don't have that. We still have a skill. Should have done the mod. I don't want to waste that. Alright, this requires a shotgun or a flamethrower. Um just a laser weapon. Alright, let's roll. So let's save it. Quick save. Just because we bought all our stuff. Our bazaar is this way. Bizarre. How do we get out? We just drive in? I oh, don't even tell me it's bugged. There's some song playing that we're probably going to either get bugged for or... Yeah, it's like it's stuck on there.
Watch out, though. That glowing green cloud ahead is radiation. Radiation can can damage your squad, make them sick of the mutations. Mutations, even kill them. So a very level of radiation hazard is shown on the Geiger counter at the top of the screen. To navigate the file out, find and install upgrades to the Kodiak to boost its radiation resistance. Alright, come on, how do we travel? Oh, there, okay. A pre-war mall and once the headquarters of the Savage Monster Army, now an indoor market and regional trading hub. Let's hit it. Monster Army ruled a significant portion of Colorado for many years until they were defeated by Patriarch and a hundred families. Bizarre, the Bizarre, once their seat of power, is now the only area they still control. This is just like Fallout. It is. Those are like the mutants. I mean, other than some of them, we haven't really dealt with any creatures. Or, I mean, we have, but they've been more like um, four... Four-legged creatures, not nothing two-legged, or nothing really mutated. Oh, I wonder if there's going to be a fight right away. Please, I assure you. Your bizarre shopping experience is completely safe. You may have folks fooled, Amanda, but not me. I know some. Amanda, rabbit, dra and before he stands, a man dressed in an impeccably clean, well-maintained suit. He bows with a flourish as you approach. Without pause, starts rattling off a practiced. Look out! You got the hiccups. Practice spiel. Salutations and assorted felicitations. Welcome to the Bazaar, the marketplace of the unusual. I have not seen you here before. Know this, the Bazaar can be found underneath our feet, buried by layers of snow. Access is restricted to the lucky few who possess an entrance pass. You can purchase an entrance pass at the door from our esteemed hosts, the Monster Army. Or, if you lack the funds, simply find an established merchant to vouch for you. God. Why was that woman oh, leaving? a misunderstanding, I assure you. There have been some troubles in the bazaar of late. But nothing our esteemed hosts, the Monster Army, can't resolve. I assure you, inside the bazaar awaits a satisfying and secure shopping experience. Up the ramp, you'll find the door to the bazaar, covered by a vehicle. My name is Ananda Rabindranoff. Mannerite missionary, merchant, and your humble servant. I was assigned to answer any questions you may have. Felicitations. Can we speak more about getting into the bazaar? It is simple. To get inside, you need an entrance pass. You can purchase one at the door, or find mm. an established bazaar merchant to vouch for you. Any bazaar merchant. Of course, they are usually found inside the bazaar, not out here. In the encampment behind me, you could find some hopefuls looking to get in. Perhaps if you can aid them, they can aid you. Could you vouch for Would that I could, but we are limited in how often we can vouch for outsiders. In theory, it could be someone else's pass. In theory, yes. But those of us who have a past tend to safeguard it with our lives, so it is highly unlikely you would get to use another person's pass. I have heard of people giving their entrance passes to family members. Perhaps you have a rich uncle. Occasionally people disappear in the nearby ruins, and strangers acquire their pass. I'm sure I don't need to say this behavior is most untrustworthy and impolite. I can only hope I will have the answers you seek. That's an impressive suit. <laughs> ah, I thank you. It is a pleasure to meet people of taste, a true rarity in these uncivilized lands. I endeavor to provide the teachings of Mr. Manners to those inside the bazaar. Alas, they seem to prefer that I spread the good word out here instead. A folly, I think. 
But who am I to question our gracious hosts? You gotta be a robot, you'd be freezing your ass off. We're looking for the Bilbin smuggling refugees. The Colorado Spring, I'm not gonna ask him that. Use a tailor back at our HQ, could we convince you to join us? You do seem like people of refined taste, without a doubt. But a man of class does not abandon his employer at an inopportune moment. I don't wish to speak out of turn, but this is a dangerous time for the bazaar. Friends, go inside. Speak to Mr. Jacob Martin, or as others call him, Flab. When the bazaar is safe again, my conscience will be clear, and I will be most pleased to join you. Naturally, I have a variety of goods for sale that could suit your needs. But let's not barter out here in the cold. Join me in the warmth and security of our encampment. Oh, let's go. I mean, we're gonna get in. If civilization collapses, all of Colorado Springs will look like this. You'd think with all these people waiting to get in, the bazaar would be amazing. You'd think. You promised to buy me a new coat when we get inside. Felicitations. But of course. Alright, we can't really afford it. Uh, I'm a lot of junk. All right, we'll walk around. There's him. Uh, hi. Hey there. Hi. Yeah, I'm Paris. Trying to get into the bazaar to sell my dyes. Same as you, I imagine. The getting into the bazaar part, not the dyes. Unless you do dyes, which is totally cool by me if you do. Hi. You know anything about the refugee situation? What are you doing here? I'm trying to become a licensed merchant in the bazaar. The monster army says I gotta make a dye the exact color of blood, which is hard, because everyone's got an opinion, but no one can agree on the hue. Hey, uh, you wouldn't happen to know anything about dyes, huh? It'd be just peaches if you could help. I could even pay you, a little at least. My dye table is right over there. What does the monster army want with blood-colored dye? Decoration, I suppose. Or, I, I don't know, really. I didn't think to ask, to be honest. What are these people doing hanging around outside the bazaar? Them? They're hoping someone would sell them an entrance pass or help them get inside. The bazaar's got this code, you see. Unless you're a big shot Flab can't do without, you're not allowed to come in. Anyhow. Tell us about um, Flab. Flab's uh, the leader of the bazaar. He's a big guy, which is why everyone calls him Flab, you know? It's kind of mean, but Flab doesn't seem to mind, so whatever. I guess. Yeah. So long. All right, so we got a recruit. We're still trying to get the garage mechanic from here. The Zealot. All right. And welcome guests. Travel to the bazaar and confront human smugglers. Gideon Rays is afraid of Colorado Springs. Can't support any more refugees. Guests travel to the bazaar. Traders. Hmm. Huh. Knock, knock. Made to the bazaar, an exclusive trade point of inside of store color shopping. T 
table of before has been carefully prepared by Paris for mixing chemicals. Each container is marked with the chemical it contains, and there are various tools for decanting and mixing. Start mixing chemicals for a new dye. Requirement not meant. Mix chemicals at random? What chemical do you want to add first? Oh my god. Let's step away from the table. Once I earn my way inside the bazaar, I'm gonna try some of those famous pork buns. A sleeping bag. Sleeping bags provide a space efficient way a s provide a space efficient way for hopeful to buy their time in the camp while they're on their way into the bazaar. Nice. The great goo. No, the great kern. Ah ha! I see you have come from afar. Well, your travels are amply rewarded. For you have reached the one and only, the seer of fortunes and teller of truths, the Great Gurn! Oh wow, really? Yes, I know, I know. Your ears can scarce believe what you're seeing. Ah, but it is indeed I, ready to tell your fortune. And tell us our fortune. Wisely chosen! Those who do not prepare for the future are clowns. To begin, you must think of your favorite color. Concentrate solely on the color. Let the color completely fill your mind. Estas ready? They're ready. I see an ocean of waves your color is blue that's right of course of course the great gun is never wrong ah an image of your future is forming hmm now tell me what is it that brought you to colorado Patriarch promises resources to save our fellow rangers back in Arizona. We want to take control of Colorado. We'd rather not tell you. Ah, the most noble of sentiments. The image begins to grow clearer. Now I must know, for what purpose have you come to the bazaar? We're exploring. Yes, yes, fascinating. It's all coming together now. Listen carefully, for the fortune I tell you may very well save your lives and the lives of many. Your noble goal only slips further away if you wander without aim. The early bird gets the worm, but the second mouse gets the cheese. Ah, yes. A vision becomes clearer now. Now I can clearly see you standing before a red balloon. The red balloon bursts without warning, and you stand covered in red blood. Beware! <laughs> Beware! <laughs> that is uh, all I can see. Your path is hard, mamons. The fates have spoken to me. I must give you this key. May it be of no use. What is this key for? Great Garn stares at a point in the distance, softly chanting in an unfamiliar language. Do not appear willing to answer your question. That could be with a clown. Harry, why aren't you in the bazaar? Uh, Flab is a cabron who wouldn't recognize talent if it bit him in the belly. He claims the monster army already has some kind of mechanical fortune teller. But how could a machine possibly match my intuition? My gift, my panache. Beware the red balloon. Gotcha. All 
All right, cool. Unwelcome guests. What is that? All right, that's what we're doing now. Duh. what that's about okay all right we're in the very outskirts of the bazaar we're gonna end the video here so if you like the video hit like if not dislike perfectly fine subscribe if you want some more dr quats and the doctors out be safe